Hi, welcome to Adoration Yoga. My name is Sarah and today we have a short yoga practice for when you just want to add a little bit of movement, mindfulness, and prayer to your day. So I really hope that you enjoy. Grab some comfortable clothing, grab your yoga mat, and let's breathe, move, and worship our God together. To today's class we're going to start in a kneeling position so come down on your mat onto your knees sink the hips back onto the tops of the heels relax the tops of the feet to the mat now if this is uncomfortable at any point for your knees or for the front of your ankles feel free to just come into a simple seat and from your kneeling posture go ahead and sit up nice and tall Relax the shoulders down and away from the ears. And I invite you to go ahead and just close your eyes. Soften the muscles in your face. Begin to breathe in through the nose. And exhale through the nose. With your eyes closed, inhale, reach both arms up and overhead. Stretch up through the fingertips. Reach the crown of the head up towards the ceiling. And then your exhale, bring the palms together down to heart center. We'll open up our practice today in prayer. Lord Jesus, we thank you so much for this moment. This moment that we can just find a few minutes to move and to breathe, to take care of these beautiful bodies that you have given us, and to shift our focus to you, dear God. We ask that you quiet our busy minds and our busy hearts, and help us to be present as we move and breathe together and as we draw closer to you through prayer and through our scripture. Jesus, we love you. It's in your holy and mighty name that we pray. Amen. Good. Relax the hands down in the lap, palms facing up. And take a couple of deep breaths. Try to fully fill the belly on the inhale. Feel the side body and the ribs expand as you breathe in. And then slowly and control, let all the air out on your exhale. Gently flutter the eyes open and we'll move into tabletop position. So on all fours, spread fingertips wide, begin to work the inside of the elbow towards the front of your mat, knees under the hip points, and then you can choose whether you want the tops of the feet of the mat or tuck the toes. We're going to move into some cat cows. On your inhale, drop the ribs and the belly, look forward, reach the tailbone up, lift up and out of the shoulders. And then your exhale, tuck and round, chin to chest, reach the spine up, claw through the fingertips. Inhale, open up for your cow. And then your exhale, round up through the spine for cat. Good, one more time, inhale, cow pose. Really drop the ribs down towards the mat. Reach the tailbone up. Try to get taller up through the neck. And exhale, round it through for our last cat. 
Good, bring it back to a nice neutral spine. Ground down through the right hand. On your inhale, left hand reaches up towards the ceiling. Gonna add a twist. Gently roll out the wrist. Make sure to lift up and out of this bottom shoulder. And we're just gonna find a little flow here. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, round through halfway with the cat back. Good, inhale to reach up. And exhale to round halfway through. Good, two more times with your breath. Good, one more time, inhale, reach it up. And exhale, this time thread the needle, left arm comes under the hole in the right. Relax the left shoulder and the ear down towards the mat. Take a moment to rest in this twist. Ground down firmly through the right hand and press yourself back up tabletop position. Great, we'll do that on the other side. Left hand grounds down on the mat firmly. Inhale, reach that right arm up. Gaze can be forward or up towards those fingertips. Roll out the wrist. Inhale to reach, twist a little more. Exhale, round halfway through. Try to find that cat back. Inhale, reach it up. And exhale, round halfway through. Good, two more times. Inhale, reach it up, get tall, reach those fingertips up. Exhale, thread the needle, right arm comes under the hole on the left. Shoulder and ear down towards the mat, relax and breathe in your twist. One more breath. The next inhale, left hand helps you press it back up. Tabletop position. Great, we're gonna move into downward facing dog. So walk the hands forward just a little bit towards the outsides of your mat. Really make sure the fingers are spread really wide here. Knees walk back a little bit as well. Tuck the toes and then when you're ready, begin to lift the knees up and off the mat, hips up and back as heels begin to press down towards the mat for your downward facing dog. Go ahead and find some movement. Wake up the backs of the legs. Stretch out the calf. Maybe you come up onto the toes, lift and lower both heels. Then find a moment of stillness in your downward facing dog. Press firmly into the index finger and thumb. Lift up and out of the shoulders and keep nice and loose in the neck. Continue to breathe. Keep that left foot planted firmly on the mat. Inhale. You're gonna slide the right toes back as you begin to lift the right leg. Heel presses up, toes press down for our three-legged down dog. From here, bend the knee, working the right heel towards the glute, and then see if you can begin to open up the hip towards the right side of the mat. So knee pointing up towards the ceiling. Work that heel towards the glute adding a hip stretch into our downward facing dog. Keep breathing. Lift up and out of the shoulders. One more breath. And then exhale, 
Bring that right foot back down towards your mat. Shake out the hips. This time right foot grounds down. Inhale, left toes lift. Three-legged dog, feel the stretch in the back of the right leg. And then when you're ready, bend the left knee, heel to glute, open up the knee towards the ceiling. Body begins to twist a little bit towards the left side of your mat, adding this hip stretch to our downward facing dog. Stick with it, you got it. Keep breathing. On the next exhale, gently lower it down, downward facing dog. And then from your down dog, you're gonna to begin to walk the hands back towards the back of your mat. And then once your hands have met your feet, bring the feet as wide as the mat, toes spill off the mat, Gen bend the knees generously, and we'll all meet in a ragdoll pose. Let the weight of the upper body and the head just spill over. Relax the arms down. Just take a few moments to breathe, to relax in this posture. And to just bow and surrender before our Savior, Christ Jesus. Maybe you just take a moment as well to just thank him for something that you're thankful for today. And just surrender any stresses or worries or fears that you have on your heart to him. Have your hands clasped opposite elbows. Still let that head hang very heavy. Just find a nice gentle sway side to side. Good, bring it back to center. Drop the fingertips down. Heel toe the feet to come to hip width distance, and then slowly, energetically press up through the feet, roll it all the way up to mountain pose. Good, once you're in your mountain pose, stand nice and tall. Relax the shoulders, palms face forward. I invite you again to just take a moment to close your eyes and to breathe. Be still in the presence of God. Come before him with a thankful heart for the good things in your life. And be honest and tell him about the things that are hard in life right now and ask, ask for his help. Good. Inhale, stretch the arms wide, reach side to side. And then your exhale, bring the left arm across the chest. Capture the arm either with your hand or with your elbow. We'll just find a nice shoulder stretch. Good. And gently release. Inhale, bring it wide. Exhale, opposite arm across the chest. Just find a nice little shoulder stretch here. Inhale, reach it wide one more time. And exhale, drop the hands down. Bring the chin down towards the chest. 
Breathe into the stretch along the back side of the neck. And if it feels good, bring the hands to the neck and just begin to gently massage the muscles along the neck. Use the strength of your fingers and your thumb. Just give yourself a little self-love, a little self-care. Maybe even massage out the shoulders as well. Just be kind to yourself and loving. Good. When you're ready, there's no rush. Relax the hands down. Bring that head back nice and tall above the heart. Try to stack hearts over hips. And then we'll move in just a brief moment of scripture meditation and end our practice today in prayer. So you can bring those hands down by your side. Maybe you can bring them to prayer or if you'd like to bring both hands to the chest. Whatever feels comfortable for you as we just move into this time of scripture and prayer. Close your eyes, breathe and relax. As I read Philippians 4 verse 8 over us. Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Father God, we praise you and thank you just for your awesomeness. You are a great and powerful God who is all-knowing, who is with us, who is creator, and who loves us. We thank you for your son Jesus and his sacrifice on the cross as payment for our sins. God, it's so easy to focus on things that are negative, that are bad, that are not just or not commendable. We just have this sense and desire for justice and for things to be right in the world. And when they're not, it's so easy to just get caught up in all the emotions of trying to fix them and to right it. But God, you say that whatever is true, whatever is just, whatever is honorable, whatever is commendable, to focus on these things. So God, we ask humbly for your help to shift our perspective and our focus on these things that are beautiful and wonderful and honorable. Help us to meditate on these things and help us to bring praise to you because every good and wonderful gift and blessing is from you. Jesus, draw us closer to you today. Help us love like you love. It's in your holy and mighty name that we pray. Amen. Friends, wonderful job today. Thanks so much for showing up and spending this time on your mat with me. I hope you have a blessed rest of your day, and I'll see you again here back on the mat soon. Bye for now.